It's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com and we're continuing on with Jimdo tutorials specifically related to the online store aspect of Jimdo. And if you're still trying to decide whether to use Jimdo as your website builder and you have an online shop, this feature here is going to really help you add a little bit more style and customization to uh, your website. So in the previous tutorials I show you how to set up the store items and um, here are just a few examples that we did. We've put in images and added you know, example prices, shipping, etc. So now it's time to style it. And Jimdo makes it extraordinarily simple to style, uh, you know, the, the buttons and the color of the text and, and also the checkout process. Simply go over to the style menu button over on the right hand side in the menu bar. And over here you're going to see store styles. Click into that. Here you have a few options. You can customize the, the price uh, color, the font color and the size, the button and also the button text. Down here you can control the, the checkout process where you know when you're when people are checking out they prompt them to either pay, uh, enter address, confirm or finish and you can show them the progress so it's definitely useful especially if you're running an online store people always want to know where exactly they are and what step is next. So why don't we quickly go over this. The interface here is quite simple. You know, Jimdo makes it simple enough that when you're dealing with the price, they see the line here refers to this area right here. So if I want to enlarge the price, which is always a good thing, because people get frustrated sometimes they can't find a price and you don't want them to abandon your page because of that. And you want to change the color, let's say to, um, I'm just going to pick blue. There's a color picker here makes it super simple and you can see right away um, the color will change instantaneously as you maneuver you know, the color selector around. So I'm just going to pick this right here for example. Off to the button. Now the color of the button and uh, the mouse over color is different because the color is when it's standing alone on its own. When So when you this color here kicks in when you put your mouse cursor over it. See that? So it kind of turns a bit to get a little more attention. So I'm going to enlarge the font as well. There's a general rule of thumb for e-commerce that always have a big call to action. So add to cart is definitely something you want to be prominently displayed so people can find it when they're ready to purchase. Also, um, there's a lot of studies shown out there that having an orange button increases a click-through rate. Uh, obviously, this, you need to test this concept uh, and experiment it yourself, but for today's example, we're just going to pick an orange button. And of course, i got to adjust the mouse over or else it's going to look a little bit weird. Uh, so I'm going to select a different shade of orange, just for example like that, and see how it works now and maybe I'll turn it to black or keep it at white. I'm just going to keep it at white. And the next thing will be uh, text buttons. You can customize um, the text that shows up in the, uh, in, in the buttons. Just coming over to the, the live uh, website right here, uh, before making all those adjustments you can see this is what it looks like. Okay, add to cart, and if I add something to the cart, you go check out. If I click on check out, this is the checkout process right here. Okay, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text here just to show you how it works. So maybe you want to go by now. Again, you might want to experiment with this to see what works best for you. Um, bring me to checkout or something like that. Okay, these are just uh, for examples. And down here, I personally tend to like to use this right here. So uh, it's a bit of an arrow, so it points me to the next step. So I get a feeling of, you know, next step is this, then this, then this, and the check mark at the end. That's when I complete. Um, I might want to change it to red, just as an example. Uh, so it stands out a little bit. And I'm going to click Save. So the styling is done. I'm just going to come back to the live website refreshing the screen so you can see the changes uh, get implemented right away. Here's the buy now button okay and this is the, the font color and size is being enlarged so if I want to buy it click that it's gonna 
have the, the checkout here. Bring me to cart, bring me to checkout, and this is the new checkout process banner. And also all the other buttons are, are matched uh, to the same style as you set up in the configuration. So it really is just that simple. Um, Chimdu is powerful enough to allow you to configure these things uh, very quickly and easily to suit your own design and how you want the website to look like. So if you're still looking for an e-commerce uh, platform to build your website, Jimdo is definitely one of those candidates that can make life a lot easier for you.